This is something that we almost need to do at the very end. Drywall goes up tomorrow. That rolls us into next week, so we're getting towards the tail end. Yep. We could be doing the floor next week once you get me with. Uh, yeah, answer. I mean, zero dollars so far works. Yeah, that's we're kind of uh, done. Partition wall looks great. It's my first time being here, so good. that looks good. awesome. Good. Uh, love that. Obviously, we need a lot of lighting here. So let's talk about lighting for a second. Yep. Those mini MR16s kind of bring down the entrance to yep. bring some light in. So they're all new, they're consistent, they're all 3K lights. Whatever you guys bring to the party now for the track lighting and the pendants, it's going to be all 3K too. We'll brighten it up. Oh, this is looking sick, by the way. Like it? I'm loving this. Good. So what we initially talked about when building the shell, the pony wall to actually where it starts itself. So the first row of shoes will be all across the shell, and then every X amount will go up to the, top, to the ceiling. There's room for pairs in here. I'm going to paint this black for you too, the column. Love it or hate it? I could do a black or white. I like it white. I like it white. Because the shell's going to contrast it. I like it. Keep it white. You really keep it white, yeah. Okay, good. Glad I didn't buy the paint yet. Enough light for stock room, right? Plenty. Yeah, plenty. We'll be all right. Cool. You guys are working on the white, right? The white paint? Yeah. All right, dash one. All right, so on the white paint, you guys wanted like a flat or a satin sheen, correct? You don't want to have a, a real reflective. Yeah, I would say flat. Okay, done. All right, another update, this time with a ton of progress, Bri. It's coming to fruition. Uh, yeah, Starting to smooth out the floor and everything looks good. They just installed the first set of track lighting with this rectangular shape, and then we're going to have our centerpiece chandelier drop right out of the center, and we're going to have our glass display cases here in the center. Shelving's coming together. We have some uh, recessed lines that you guys can see right now. The shelves will be supported by those, and then they'll kind of just be flush in the background. After the shelves are up, shelves are going to be underlit. Uh, those will probably be done here in the next like week or so, I would assume. Yeah, the next week. They just had to get the wall prepared for the shelving. I assume the shelving is kind of like the last final step for that. So we're really excited to see that. Uh, the partition wall that is built into the storage room is finally finished. They're just gonna have to throw some paint on there. They're gonna do our clothing racks in the back as well. Only thing that we haven't figured out is where we're gonna put mirrors on the shoe display area. We're gonna try and have some freestanding mirrors since there's not much wall space. It's all dedicated to the sneakers. So this back wall, we just ordered the neon sign for. We're also gonna do four rows of four um, for shelving, we're going to put hats, bare bricks, socks, little accessories yeah, like yeah, that. Cool. And then our register gets built in about a week from now as well. So the main thing they just finished though is the whole outside of the store. That custom built register is going to go from wall to wall on this side. So it's going to be a nice long register. It's going to give a lot of room for checking out customers. And what did he say? And then we're also putting a, like a marble countertop or something just so we can house hey. pairs, hold pairs for people. The back room just needs paint. That's basically it. Ceiling's done and everything too. So and outside, so the mall made us redo this entire Wait for me. storefront vinyl that we had. So our corner spot, since it's so big, we actually have vinyl wrapped around the entire space. So this used to be like a brown vinyl that was not looking good. This is actually a black vinyl now, which actually turned out really good. It goes all the way up to the ceiling for the most part too. These columns right here are gonna be white. Right here. 
train station going on right here. How did you get on the train? One to ten. Three, two, one. Four. Shoot, shoot, go. Either. <laughs> you don't have a pass. I don't. You don't have a pass. Alright. Up top we got the vinyl going across as well. Our signs can go up there. Signs are very expensive, so I mean that sign that we paid for up here is ten grand. So money adds up really quick when you're building out a store. But moving back around, we also have this vinyl out here. This is a six-figure project just for the vinyl outside the store front, getting the whole store front redone. It even goes on to this side as well. Once this black paint gets taken off, you're gonna be able to see the entire inside of the store, which is gonna look super simple. Say it again. We gotta wait for the train to stop because I gotta, I gotta hop on the train. Uh, no, I'm not using a pass. I'm just asking if I can delay it. You're using it. a pass because you're no. not doing it right now. So I can't. You're not letting me delay it. We got shit to do. The train hasn't stopped, so we'll be doing this Thursday or Friday. Back to HQ. All right, today we got a huge shipment in of born and raised SB dunks. But right now we're preparing everything from our HQ inventory for our Airhead location opening up on October 7th this Saturday, actually the day of SneakerCon. So if you guys are in town for SneakerCon Phoenix, feel free to head by our grand opening of Common Hype at our Glendale location. It's going to be a huge event. We'll be there all weekend if you guys want to stop by. But 50 pairs of Born to Raise, that's a lot of pairs, Brian. We were able to get these early in bulk from one of our suppliers at 550 bucks a pop, which is an absolutely insane price. Everybody I saw selling on Instagram was in that 600 to 650 range, and obviously stores are a lot more expensive. So really good price that members were able to pick up, sizes eight through 13. Leftovers will be available on Common Hype, but one thing I wanted to mention about Good Chefs, which I don't think has been mentioned quite yet, is we're bringing on some of the top resellers in the industry to the group that are gonna help propel Good Chefs to the absolute next level, which is gonna give you guys a lot of insight of how you guys can resell. You guys know Good Chefs is all about us making money, building a community, talking about business, um, and having a really great marketplace, which is what we've continuously done, but that's gonna elevate the group even further with all the top resellers on board with that program. So I'm super excited to roll that out for you guys. More information on that later, but one of the best SB releases of the year, 50 pairs of them. We're gonna ship all these out to our members today. Again, if you guys wanna get into the group, hit the link down in the description below. 50 bucks a month, you can cancel at any time, but you're not gonna to wanna to cancel after you see everything that we offer. Now, going into the Arrowhead pairs, transferring about 900 pairs to the location right now. We're pretty low on inventory. Keep in mind, when we have three stores now, it's very hard to figure out which pairs are gonna to go to which location. We've got HQ, we've got Scottsdale, and now our Arrowhead location. Looking behind us, as you can see, it's pretty bare at HQ. That being said, I like it this way because everything, all of our shipments come from HQ because we legit check them in-house and then we disperse them out to both of our locations. It's easier to replace HQ pairs since everything runs through HQ. This isn't even everything. This doesn't even include the clothing aspect. We got another shipment in over here that Joey's building. All these other pairs are getting set to go that we're gonna find the boxes for. Tons of really good skews. Again, it's just balancing which shit pairs go where because you got to hope that whatever pair you transfer over is 100% going to sell. Yeah. Got, got a ball. bunch of our Arrowhead guys prepping everything right now. Steve's in here. Have to have a conversation with Steve later today and his new puppy. I'm in trouble, guys. And then Zay is prepping all the clothing behind us right now, going through each skew by skew on all of our clothing, including Stussy, Eric Manuel, Gallery, tons of vape and all the other clothing that you guys are gonna see at the Arrowhead location. So again, October 7th, Saturday, is the official grand opening of Common Hype at Arrowhead Mall. Be there or be square. You heard. Big camera for him, yeah, camera's as big as him. True, how much nicer is it to move with a big air team? Oh, it's Beautiful. It's been a pretty smooth process. Cuts when, hours in half. That's for sure. The hands, the ankles, the back feels a little better today. Yeah. And after this one. It's been a lot smoother though. The preparation has been 10 times easier. We were talking about Joey. Having like a guy like Joey, having Zayn now doing inventory, having all the air table data and all the new advanced data we have, it just makes everything a lot easier. And have like 10, 15 guys to be able to move stuff. Just, it's quicker, efficient. A lot easier than making 18 trips with three of us, four of us, five of us. So it'll be done quick. All right, today is officially move-in day number one for our Arrowhead spot. We're here right now. A couple of cool additions that we made that you guys didn't see in the last video. We talked about the clothing racks. Well, the clothing racks are actually all in now, which is super cool. So it's gonna be our entire clothing section of the store. Our display cases came. These are the same ones that we have at Scottsdale. So one's gonna go right here. The other two are gonna go over here. Paint on the shelves. The wood color was sick, but 
we want to make them black and then we're going to replace it with some black vinyl later because we couldn't get all of that done in time. Something really cool about the shelves, which are not in yet, but two features. Number one is that LED strip is going to go all the way under each of these shelves, so completely around the entire shelf display, which is going to be super sick. It's going to really light this place up. And then also, if you'll notice, if you look at this at like a straight angle, you'll notice these shelves are actually at an angle, which is super cool because if you put them flat down, we they want to give the shoe the same exact display as it would with this curve. So the curve makes it unique, which is really cool. Number one, and number two, it allows us to display the shoes that we want to display correctly. Uh, cash strap, they call it, we call it a register. Just got built, it's the full length of this wall like we previously talked about in the front. It's not gonna happen before we're opening, but it's doing glass in the middle right here. So we'll do like additional add-ons and stuff right here in this display case, miniature display case. Our employees can open it from the back right there, grab whatever they need to use at checkout. So a bunch of upsell items will go in this glass thing. Register looks really cool, wall to wall. Behind it, we also added a countertop back here. That way, if we ever needed to hold items, we need to box things up or whatever we really need to do right here, it just gives us extra register room. So the register itself area can look super clean. And then we'll, we've added these shelves behind. So it's just rod right now, but it'll eventually be a shelf that'll go on top. Again, more add-ons, hats specifically. Um, maybe some mini bear brick stuff like that and then up top is that neon sign like we talked about as well the whole place is now fully painted so we talked about the ceiling before the flooring's a lot different they redid and, and kind of made that, 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 that stained floor like we've been talking about the entryway entryway's done um, there was like a little gap right here you can see on the concrete that they basically I don't know the exact terminology, but they fixed it up and made it look good so once this entire floor gets clean it's gonna look really bright up the place Again, when this black paint gets off, we're gonna have that natural mall light coming in, which this place is gonna be super well lit up. And in the back right here, since we can ship from any location now, basically, besides our Scott systems, we don't have a room. We're building a full shipping table, like you guys have seen at HQ. So that shipping table goes right there in the middle here, so we can do shipments and everything. Shelves go around the entire vicinity of the wall. All of our cameras got installed yesterday. All right, it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon. We got a lot done today. I'm personally about to head out, but the guys still have a little bit of work to do. This is basically what we came up with for the final results of today. We gotta come back tomorrow. The shelves will be done. We're gonna come in and bring all the shoes in, get the pairs up, get the clothing up. Uh, our neon signs going in, our temporary signs going in outside. So a lot of stuff happening tomorrow as well. But we put the display cases where we think we wanna have them. When I sketched it out, we did two L benches in the corners, but we decided to just space them out to create a little bit of walk room, but also give a customer that's trying on a shoe right here enough room for you know another customer to walk by. So just trying to figure out the spacing. This is what we came up with. For today at least, we might turn around tomorrow or Friday and change our mind. Um, at this point, we're not gonna do a soft opening on Friday because there's just a little bit too much work to be done still. So we're just gonna do one grand opening on Saturday. Hopefully you guys are seeing this video by Friday, but probably Saturday. Either way, we're open at this point and we're really looking forward to seeing the final piece of this place get put together. Also, just waiting on the shelving uh, lighting, which we're really excited to see. I think we were very happy with the decision to put a register in here, because you guys know at our other locations. Well, I guess just our Scottsdale location, we just do iPads, kind of like the way that Apple does it. They'll just check you out where you're standing. But we decided to add the cash wrap. The only thing with this is there's gonna be a piece of glass. It's gonna be right here. It's just not gonna come in time, but it will be on the way, and we're just gonna put a bunch of, like Brandon said, upsells and stuff like that in here. This honestly could be my favorite little corner of the store. Dude, and looks when, insane. when all of this paint is taken off and we can get some natural light back into the building, I think it's gonna look really, really cool. But this light, this fixture, I'm glad we did something different than what's over there, because that one's a little more abstract in the way that it twists and turns and everything. This one is a lot more uniform, which I feel like it makes the space look nice and clean. And I think a display case right here is a really good decision as well. Probably put some Chrome Hearts, Gallery Department, higher end clothing in here to kind of match the theme of the clothing section, maybe some accessories and then keep all the grails over there. So yeah, we'll give you guys an update tomorrow. A lot of hard work done today though. We'll go tell the boys in the back, thank you. Gentlemen, good work today. Can we talk again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Drew was saying earlier, we haven't ever had a team this big when opening a store, so have the extra hands today. I mean, look at all these guys. Some bodies in here. Put up all the racks today. Built all the benches. The shipping desk took forever to get done. They also helped us get everything in and out um, and facilitate all the moving today. So we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow and hopefully get this place up and ready by Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Common Hype Arrowhead. Head on in, Chris. 
Come on in. Welcome in. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, officially done. Ready to pre-open. It's looking great. Shout out to the girls who did our balloons. They look amazing for the entryway, but we're officially looking at Common Hype Arrowhead Mall. Super excited to be here. I'm ecstatic about the way this turned out. Four weeks. Four week turnaround time. Our biggest budget yet. Our biggest project yet. It just goes to show if you keep reinvesting back into the business, you can do cool things like this, which is awesome. So, Brad, you want to talk about the shoe wall? First thing before we even touch the wall, we went pretty hard on the lighting for this space. Ended up being a little different than we would have wanted. Would have loved these lights to be a little bit wider, but overall, it's really hard to complain when it looks this good. We blocked out the ceiling, which I think ended up working out in our favor really well. We have this beautiful fixture here in the center, very abstract, and I think it just fits the theme of what this store is. Just seeing stuff that you don't see every day, pairs that you don't see every day, um, and I think the lighting really sets the tone, especially with the display cases under it, and this just is housing some heat. What's, what's oh, the yeah. heat we brought over? I see a got, fragment in the back. Yeah, get the fragment highs, got some red Octobers, Dior lows. Trying to facilitate pairs between all the locations, so trying to get this heat filled in this uh, case. This is most of the retros and the high-end stuff, and then behind you, you're going to have most of your high-end SBs, all the Travs. I see a pair of Louis, some Tiffany's in here. So. And then obviously you guys know all the Born and Raised in here, so. Brought some heat over. Organized the shoe wall this morning. You guys saw our, our final update from yesterday. Had not even put the shoes in until this morning. Uh, Literally all this today. Yeah, before we even get going, we just want to thank our team for making this happen, because this is not just the uh, the three amigos anymore. We definitely had some uh, manpower behind this one. It's the only way we were able to get this space done. Um, but we did some Fazos miscellaneous, Nike basketball, um, some, some SKUs that you guys are familiar with, uh, Starfish, um, and just a bunch of really hot selling stuff. Brandon and Drew were very particular about what was gonna end up here, what we were gonna pull from other stores, what we needed to go and source for this grand opening. So I think they did a really good job uh, picking the right pairs. You got Reimagined 3s, Fire Reds, uh, canvases, all your basic Jordan 4s. Every dunk no no of. man, women, kids, or toddlers. Sizes yes. deep too. Black and whites because you gotta have them. And if you guys notice like everything here looks pretty plain, we always do that because this color pop. We love the way that it looks, the organization of all the dunks, making the colors of the shoes kind of pop off. So one of the things we're instilling is that this store looks like this every day. Every time someone walks in, we're making sure that the store looks as best as it possibly can because in its truest form, it looks really, really good. We did all the Yeezys over here. You guys are familiar with that. As you walk around this wall, this was a very highlighted featured wall in the uh, B-roll that you guys saw because this was a very blank slate. But I think we made the right decision by putting this big cash register. Uh, it just helps open the floor up a little bit and uh, helps us store some of our upsells, some of our hats, some of our accessories that don't really have room for on the floor. We're definitely going to build out this space a little more, add on, do some folding tables, have mannequins and stuff. But as far as getting open today, this is the best that we came up with and I think we did really well. Shout out to Graham's Neon, by the way. They did our sign outside that you guys saw and they also did this one and they made it happen. So thank you to them. Remember we're last year, might add some LED lights within the glass. This is for upsell stuff. We're gonna add an eight foot track light, some additional light because this back wall is pretty dark right now. We're doing all that next week. This display case, chrome, high-end supreme pieces. Gotta have the ball clubs for the winter. Just a classic. All the clothing you're gonna see over here, common hype apparel, common hype shorts. Uh, you got the spider hoodies, essential hoodies, uh, bait tees. We're allowed to sell vintage in here, which is super cool. We could also sell used shoes. Don't have any used shoes yet, but we've got a bunch of vintage right here. You'll notice we still have a few more pieces left from our More Heat collection that we did with them. You got the denim tears, tears pants, which should sell really well. We're also getting the denim tears hoodies and sweatpants and sweat shorts here pretty shortly. Uh, gallery department, a little bit of help start left of what we have. Um, and yeah, it's just looking really good. So we're super excited about it. We're also working on a two wholesale accounts right now that should absolutely change the game for us and give us some more clothing options as well. The finale, I wish this could have been uh, its completed project. We're gonna do some metal framing in here and build a display case out of this. We got a really cool fixture to highlight this room. In the meantime though, we had to make it audible. So me and Drew hit our uh, white suburban mom moment. I wish you guys could have been there. I feel like a Pinterest it. mom putting this thing together, but we just went to a home goods store and set up a little uh, Thanksgiving slash fall themed room. Uh, just threw a couple highlight shoes in there. Amas, Travis's, Mummies, um, some seasonal shoes. And that's what this room is gonna be until we can actually build out our metal frame. I think that was a good audible. I think we killed I that. Had to. Come on. Couldn't leave that space empty though. It's such a highlight feature and we put a really nice fixture in there. So we had to do something last minute to make that happen. Maybe we'll have Santa Claus in there for Christmas. You yeah. never know, man. We had an extra bench as well. So we threw it right here. We think this is a nice little seating area if anyone's shopping in the clothing or they don't wanna shop around with whoever they're with. 
and then we got a bunch of plants as well. You guys know the greenery is a huge theme that we have at all the locations. As you guys know, our official grand opening is tomorrow, October 7th, which is actually today for you guys. We made sure that this video got out. So with that being said, you guys can stop in now. We are officially open here at Arrowhead Town Center. Man. It's crazy to say. It is crazy to say. This it hit me today when we were seeing it. Yeah, it's crazy to see this store. I mean, I know. We just celebrated our three-year anniversary, and if three years ago you would have told us that we have three locations, yeah, and this was one of them, we would have been like, holy shit, man. Three years for three musketeers. How about All it? Right? Without you guys, it's not possible. Though. Thank you guys for always watching us. Thank you guys for supporting us. Online drops. So a lot of common hype shorts. Gonna continue to sell a lot of common hype shorts. Can't wait for you guys to see the second clothing brand, which should hopefully be here by this winter. And then the common hype winter collection is gonna look super badass too. Yeah, it's gonna look really good. That being said, we are going to get these doors open. We're gonna go and get this video edited for you guys. So you guys can watch it tomorrow. And we look forward to seeing you guys all here at our Arrowhead location. By the time you guys are watching this, we're actually gonna be here all day on Saturday or tomorrow. So if you guys are watching this today, come back. Wanna come see the boys? Stop through. I know you guys are also probably. Uh, in town for sneaker con phoenix which is around so make sure you guys pull up on us october 21st we'll be in washington dc for god soul so don't miss out on that and then we have also got another special collaboration with the coyotes coming on that same day which drew and bryson are going to be in the coyotes arena for that drop yeah. so more information on that later but thank you guys for tuning in really appreciate all the support let me know your guys comments and thoughts on this store in our opinion it's it's really good so hopefully we can continue to build off this, this is store number three I don't know about four in the near future, but let's just get through this one. Get through we holiday season. Last year, yeah, we did say that last year. We keep opening stores, but thank you guys as always for the support. We'll see you in the next video. Later. All right, so we just asked Dom to grab three guys so we can help clean that back room. They all look like exactly the same. They all look like Dom. Follow me. Dom one. Dom two. Actual Dom. OG Dom. Dom three. <laughs> Dom 4! Dom 4's over here! Dom 4's over here!